this video, we're going to discuss the work and see dynamic stock model. So what is a stock model? A stock model is basically a digital representation of the material being milled at any point in time. For example, you may start with a solid block of material, and then after roughing it with your first cutter, your stock model may resemble what's on the screen here, and then you may re-rough it with a smaller cutter until it resembles this. One common use of the stock model is for roughing and re-roughing. Generally, you want to rough with the largest tool possible because that's the most efficient and fastest way of roughing. So we rough with our large tool, and then what we will do is update the stock model and automatically re-rough it with a smaller tool, update the stock model again, and re-rough it with a smaller tool yet until we're satisfied and are ready for semi-finishing operations. Work on C utilizes a dynamic stock model versus a simple static stock model. Static stock models only know the condition of the material at the beginning of the cut, and they also know the condition of the material at the end of the cut once the stock model has been updated. However, it does not know the condition of the material during the cut. A dynamic stock model does know the condition of the material during the cut, so all retracts can be done in the safest manner possible. There are many advantages to using the dynamic stock model over the static stock model. Besides safety, one huge advantage is efficiency. Because of the dynamic stock model, we know where the material is and is not, and we can keep the tool engaged more often with fewer interrupted cuts. Notice, as we cut this block here, the tool stays engaged in the material on the step over without the interrupted cut often found on other systems. What that does is it extends tool life and runs faster and more efficiently. One other benefit of the dynamic stock model is automatic holder collision avoidance. Basically, you've heard it said that you should machine with the shortest tool possible. This allows you to do that. I can rough with the tool and the holder in combination. So here is what your stock model looks like if you do not take into account the holder. And here is what your stock model looks like when you take the holder into consideration. Notice that you can use the short tool and remove over 80 or 90 percent of the stock and only use a longer tool or a different angle where necessary to finish roughing the part. Thank you for watching our video on Work on C's dynamic stock model. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our webpage www.workonc.com.